Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and thanks to Movie Armaments Group up in Canada, I am here today getting a chance to do some actual shooting with a Stetchkin machine pistol. So, we're going to go ahead and start with this thing on the stock. It should be reasonably controllable. Uh, it does have a nice rate reducing mechanism in it. Got 20 round mags of 9x18 Makarov, plus the one empty one already in there. All right, let's see how this goes. We're on full auto. All right, this will climb if you let it. Uh, I guess that shouldn't be surprising. Short controlled bursts, not too much of a problem. I don't know that I would hit anything with anything past the first shot. Uh, this is a 50 yard bay here, so uh, not really going to make many hits. All right, so it's a pleasant enough gun to shoot. Um, the shoulder stock means that the recoil is not that big a deal. It's obviously a big heavy pistol in 9x18, but I can totally see why the Soviet Union decided to basically phase this out of use pretty quickly after they introduced it. You're just not really going to hit anything with this. This was intended as a personal defense weapon, and if we compare it to other typical personal defense weapons, like, for example, from that period in the 50s, you've got the M2 carbine in U.S. service. That M2 carbine is a far easier gun to hit with, uh, especially if you just drop it into semi-auto mode. So, in fact, speaking of which, let me do a couple shots in semi-auto and see how much easier that is to actually make hits with. That's definitely easier. If you actually want to hit something with this, I suppose it shouldn't be any surprise. Semi-auto is the way to do it. Of course, full auto is the fun way, but man, even at a 50 yard range, you're very quickly going to be throwing rounds over the berm in full auto. All right, I have been told that real men don't need shoulder stocks, which I interpret to mean Real men don't hit anything, and I'm pretty sure I will entirely fulfill that by not hitting anything with two Stetchkins at the same time. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven iPhone cameras filming this. You guys ready? Ready. ready. They're both full auto. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Well, I hit, I didn't hit nothing, I hit everything. <laughs> Probably not the target. Um, I don't think that's in the Soviet manual. Well, I think that pretty well wraps it up for the Stetchkin. This is, I've been very curious to shoot one of these, and um, I don't know that I had really high expectations for it, but I think if I did, they probably would have been let down a bit, because I'm still going with the, uh, the Scorpion as the nicest of the machine pistol PDW uh, well, machine pistol, stocked machine pistol type of guns. If we're going to add in some things like the P90 or the MP7, yeah, then we're getting a little closer to submachine gun territory. But as far as comparing this against things like the PM63, the Stetchkin, the Schnellfeuer, or uh, not the Stetchkin, the, uh, the Scorpion. The Scorpion is still the one that's coming out on top for me. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and a big thanks to Movie Armament Group for giving me the opportunity to put a couple magazines of ammo through their select fire Stetchkin.